Pakistan Supreme Court today has said Yusuf Raza Gilani is no longer the Prime Minister of the country in a verdict that has put the judiciary on a collision course with the legislature, the Supreme Court said. Gilani has been ineligible since April 26 the day he was convicted for contempt. Gilani will not be a member of the parliament following the verdict. The court also ordered President Asif Ali Zargari to select a new prime minister. Pakistan's Attorney General Irfan Qadir hotly debated the verdict. Qadir said Gilani's immunity could only be taken away by the parliament. The prime minister was not answerable to any court. Qadir said petitions against Gilani were being politicized and that Supreme Court's autonomy would be questioned if it hears such petitions. The government said the parliament has the right to reject the Supreme Court's decision if the court decides against the speaker's ruling. But the Supreme Court said the job of the court was to interpret law and that it will continue doing so no matter what anyone thinks. All right, getting us a very latest on the ramifications of this is my colleague Hamza Amir on the phone line with us from Pakistan. Hamza, dramatic developments taking place. We do know the PPP now given the onus of electing the new Prime Minister. It would be Chairperson Bilawal and Co-Chairperson Zardari would be picking the new name. Well, yes, that's correct. See, there are, these are some very important changes that are happening right now because uh, whatever the Supreme Court has decided will actually go down to the Parliament again. And if the parliament now decides to stand against the verdict of the Supreme Court, then this will be a chaotic situation uh, uh, overall in the political arena. Because the uh, uh, Supreme Court now has to categorically uh, disqualify the Prime Minister. And now when the, uh, you know, later in the evening today, all parties of the Pakistan People's Party members are will be sitting together uh, to, to decide on what is the roadmap that they have to do. Because uh, what is the, what is highly likely to happen is that, uh, uh, that you know, there might be a notion of vote of confidence be moved in the parliament and they might actually try to even secure uh, the Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gilani uh, so that you know he can actually stand strong as far as his position as the Prime Minister and this will actually result uh, after the meeting that will happen today so it's a very crucial meeting that is mm -hmm. going to happen today later in the evening. So Abza, clearly the confrontation between the legislature and the judiciary reaching its crescendo there on a collision course of sorts. Well, that is correct. See, basically, it's, it's, it's very important and very critical that, you know, as soon as the meeting ends, what do they decide? Do they decide on actually getting away from, uh, uh, you know, the, the Prime Minister and then putting in a new face uh, for the people to see? Or do they actually decide to start a notion for confidence in favor of the Prime Minister? Because if this happens, then we are talk, looking at a very difficult situation mm -hmm. between the judiciary of Pakistan and the Pakistani political government because the judiciary has already have has got the backing of the Pakistani army as well. So this is going to be a very strong contest as far as, uh, you know, staying in power of the of Pakistan People's Party's ruling government is concerned. All right. Once again, clearly, Pakistan facing political uncertainty. If we leave out the option of the parliament uh, confronting and rejecting the Supreme Court there, uh, Hamza, what are the candidates to fill in the shoes of the next prime minister? Well, right now, there have not been too many names pointed out uh, uh, within the Pakistan People's Party. They are still waiting, sitting quiet, and they are waiting for, uh, you know, the, the president basically to decide and sit with all, join heads together, and then they should decide. So it is a very, very difficult decision for them to make. They do not want to get rid of Yusuf Raza Gilani. They want to him to stay on until the next elections come on. And, and they also, at the same time, they have to cope up with the decision of the Supreme Court. So I think it's going to be a very crucial one and the decision is going to have a huge impact on the future of Pakistan's political uh, framework.